Well, hello everybody, it's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, for those of you who are new to daily devotionals, uh, when I travel, for whatever reasons I'm traveling, the daily devotionals go with me wherever I go. Now, the daily devotionals, got to remember what they're about. They're about our prayer. And so it doesn't matter if the production's not as good. I'm not in our recording studio. I'm out here in God's recording studio with all the noise. And in the next few weeks, I'm going to do them from wherever I happen to be. So sometimes they might look better than others, but that's not the point of a daily devotional. The point of a daily devotional is to draw us closer to God in our life. I often find the daily devotionals when I'm traveling, in some ways, sometimes some of them are a lot deeper because, because I feel like uh, they get more, I, I spend time thinking about them and they take effort to do. Uh, as opposed to just being walk into the studio where the whole team is there and you know it's action and where we go this is and I think God honors uh, honors this extra effort we've been talking about in this series walking in the Holy Spirit we've been particularly looking at Acts chapter 10 and we've been seeing and we when, and it's a chapter that's fantastic because it speaks to us about the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit's action in two people's lives at the same time bringing them together we have Peter the apostle who's at prayer and one day he says someone's going to come and ask you to go with them you go and then there's Cornelius who in prayer uh, an angel comes along and says to him hey there's a man by the name of Peter I want you to bring him uh, and and get together Cornelius uh, he does what God's asked him Peter responds and Peter says as we saw where we finished last time in verse 29 when Peter eventually meets Cornelius he says this so when I was sent for Cornelius, I, without obje- uh, I came without objection. Now, may I ask, why have you sent for me? In other words, Peter is saying, I've stepped out in faith. I've walked in faith. I don't know why I've come. Cornelius can say, well, I don't know why I was meant to call for you either, but I've done what I've felt like God asked me to do. And there's a real principle there that we see that for committed Christian people filled with the Holy Spirit, sometimes we're called to walk in the direction of God before we understand detail. We've talked about that before. Verse 30, Cornelius answers Peter's question, why have you sent for me? Cornelius replied, four days ago, Peter, uh, at this very hour at three o'clock, I was praying in my house when suddenly a man in dazzling clothes stood before me. He said, Cornelius, your prayers have been heard and your arms have been remembered before God. Send therefore to Joppa and ask for Simon, who's called Peter. He's staying in the home of Simon, a tanner by the sea. Therefore, I sent for you immediately and you've been kind enough to come. So now all of us are here in the presence of God to listen to all that the Lord has commanded you to say. And so so what Cornelius says right here is, this is what's happened. I'm just giving you testimony to it. The man in dazzling clothes came along and said in verse 31, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard and your arms have been remembered before God. Now, if you go back and have a look at verse 2 and verse uh, 4, it talks back then that when he initially had this first vision, it was the angel came and said to him, because of your arms and because of your prayer. Now, God comes to those who pray and God comes to those who, um, who, who seek him. And so here, here we have, here we have in this story with a plane flying over me, uh, here we have in this story is, is Cornelius is repeating what God has said to him through this angel. And Cornelius is, is saying, uh, the angel said it's because of my prayer and it's because of my alms giving. Now in the scriptures in, and in another place, it talks about the fact that we should accrue reward in heaven reward in heaven. In other words, our actions are seen in heaven. And here he is, his actions are seen. His prayer is seen. And because his prayer is seen and because his actions are seen, God responds to that. Now, sometimes our actions are our prayer life and our heart, our heart before God. Sometimes that's what it is. Sometimes our actions is to do something. And, some, and, and, so, and so in this, as, as I've reflected on it, I've been thinking today as I've been traveling and I've been reflecting on this, 
Would an angel turn up to me and say, Bruce, because of this and this that have been seen in heaven, we're answering your, we're, we're answering your prayer. We're doing this in you. I want to encourage you today, very briefly, in our daily devotional today, is just that one thought. Is just that one thought. Are your actions, are you storing up faith? Are you storing up actions where God would come along and say, look at how you're living. I see your heart. I see your disposition of action, of what you're doing. I see your prayer and I'm coming to you. And so it's, it's the totality of our whole life that God calls us to. Where today are you accruing that credit in heaven that the scriptures talk about? Loving Father, we give you thanks and you give you praise. And we pray that as we pray, Lord, we would be able to give account for the things that we are doing for your glory. Lord, amidst all of the noises that are around me, your presence is here. Wherever we are right now, you're here. You're hearing our prayer. See our actions, see our heart and draw us more deeply to you. Because Lord, Cornelius is about to encounter the Holy Spirit. Why? Because of his prayer and because of his kindness in the giving of his substance. And Lord, you're about to bless him. And so Father, we make this prayer, do this in our life. We make this prayer in Jesus' name through the power of your Holy Spirit, amen. Hey, God bless you all, everybody. See you tomorrow from wherever I'm gonna be. I look forward to uh, being with you. And don't forget wherever you are in these daily devotionals and in these days, that God is never far from you.